Yo guys, how's it going? We are back again for another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to farm ender pearls and get like XP so quick. Honestly, you'll get it so quickly. So obviously all you're going to need to do is kill this pesky little beast, take out the ender dragon, which is relatively difficult. Obviously it's Minecraft, you know how to do it. But most of you, if you're watching this video, will probably have killed the ender dragon, so you're probably here now just to get this farm started. So basically, you're going to need to if you're in survival or hardcore or whatever, you're going to need to find an edge of your world sort of like this, this will do and then grab a lava bucket and grab a water bucket while you're there too and now all you're going to do is place your lava bucket down and you're basically just going to wait if you if you look over the edge here, till it hits the floor you can see it's just going to go, well not the floor but like the bottom of the end so just wait for that to go now this farm's going to get you from level 0 to like 30 in about 60 seconds, so you're going to want this in your world, it's really effective. So make sure you do watch to the end just to know exactly how to do it and exactly how to make it. It's quite expensive, like relatively, but it's it's not overly expensive for a person that's in the end, so it should be okay. Right, and when it's like this, you want to place your water bucket in and it's just going to flow down. And obviously people that are watching this are most likely in survival, so I'm going to be doing this for survival friendly. So as you can see... We're just going to let this flow. And now while you're waiting for this, grab some ladders. You're going to need quite a few. So grab quite a few ladders. And now you're literally just going to hop down here. Oh yeah, you're going to need some um, leaf blocks too. So we'll just grab some of them. So grab your leaf blocks. I'm just going to use oak. And basically all you're going to do is f f fall down this like water thing. And you can like sort of hold it here if you hold the space bar. You can place a leaf block there and you're just going to want to build these out a few so just obviously shift back up and just build out like three or four for now but you're going to want to build away from the island as you can see that's the edge of the island we want to build away so now once you've done that grab your ladders and literally just climb all the way up and you're just going to want to do this up to the top and yeah just climb up so it's an easy up and down system right now once you're up at the top just block off that water let it go all the way down and now we're going to come back down to the bottom so obviously that's why you need the ladders so just go all the way back down you can obviously just jump off make it a bit quicker and fall back on and now you're going to need to go out 128 blocks of leaves it has to be leaves so it's quite a long time but obviously it's worth it in the end so i'd recommend just like crouching obviously going along obviously for me i can fly <laughs> you can't fucking sucks to be you doesn't it now i bet you wish you did your word and creative you little bitch but yeah just go out at least 128 it doesn't have to be exact at all just as long as it's 128 or more, then it'll be perfectly fine. So normally I like to just go out loads and just hope for the best. You can normally gather how much 128 is as well. Especially in survival when it's stacks of 64, then it's a lot easier. In creative it's a lot harder, but you can do it a lot quicker, so. Oh yeah, I'd recommend if you're doing this in survival, go out about 150 or some, well, 140, just in case you did miscount a few. Corona, you might be shit at maths at the moment, mainly because of Corona, you haven't been in school in a while. So make sure you go out a few more, like you can see my, my thing isn't even there, so we're definitely 128. And now once you made it out that much, you're going to need some normal blocks, I'd recommend just doing it out of stone or whatever, it's a bit easier. And just grab some cobblestone as well, it doesn't really matter what you do it out of, but I'd recommend stone and cobblestone, it's just what I do. And now you're going to have to build a 9x9 nine nine platform right here, so obviously out one here. And then it's going to be one, two, three, four. And we can see one, two, three, four. That's going to be eight if we do it on the other side. And one there. So now just nine by nine. To get that going. Okay, so it should look like this so far. And now once you've got all of that done, you're basically just going to come into the middle and pretty much fill every block in. But we have to leave a three by three gap in the middle of it. So just go around like the outside, fill in all of these blocks. I'm quite slow on um, PC because I don't really play it much. I'm sure your mum will teach me how to get quick fingers though. <laughs> Damn! Right, so there you can see we've left that 3x3 three three gap. It should be 4 out this side and 3 along to the leaves, so like that. And now come to the side where the leaves are and just break a 2 block there and now grab your chests. You're going to need like 2 chests, but you'll probably need more at some point. And literally just, oh that's cobblestone, not a chest. And literally just place your chest in like that. There we go, and now grab some hoppers. You're going to need quite a few for this, but yeah, that's fine. So just grab your hoppers, and now you're going to need to place them flowing into this chest, so like that. Oh, I broke the chest, of course I did. See, I'm just, I'm not a beast at this. Ah, I don't know why I moaned. So grab your hoppers, obviously. Come around the front, crouch, and bam. And place them all going in like this. 
and then on this row place these going into the hoppers on here, so like that. And now just grab some carpet, any colour carpet, it doesn't matter, and place it on top of your hoppers like so. There we go, like that. So, so far you should have a set that looks exactly like that. Okay, now you're just going to build a temporary block here, a temporary block on top of it. And then build one more block up there. Now you can delete those two. Well, you don't have to if you're playing survival, obviously, but I'm just going to for now. Now you're just going to make a border like this, sort of around this carpet area. So make sure it just goes around the outside. It, it doesn't, like, overlap the carpet if it was to fall down or whatever. So yeah, it should be like that. You should be able to see the carpet through it. And then keep extending out this platform so it's the same size as, as your 9x9 platform. Right, there we go. Now that, you should have, like, two layers of this 9x9. Oh, I forgot a... No, I didn't. Yes, I did. I forgot a level. So extend that all out to the same size as the 9x9. And it should look like that, where you've got two layers of this 9x9 with a hole in the middle. And now we're going to come to this top level and just place carpets on top, one on top of the other. So you're going to need to double layer the carpet around like this. And then do this on this layer as well, so it's like two layers of this carpet. So some idiot decided to make it a 9 by 10 square, so I'm going to have to destroy this level. And there we go, now that's even. I was wondering why it wasn't even, why I was looking a bit off, so I'm going to have to destroy this layer too. But yeah, make sure you didn't make the same mistake as me and make it uneven. It's an easy fix, obviously, but like, still just annoying. But now that's more even, that, that looks more, more pro. There we go. And now just come down here, like that, place a temporary block on that block, it doesn't really matter, but just place one there. And then a block on top of it, like that. And then just lay around this carpet, like, sort of layers. So just layer all the way around. And now this is the annoying part of it. We have to layer up to level 44. So we are, if you're on PC, press F3 and it will show you, and you can see X, Y, Z. And we're going to want to look at the one in the middle. We have to go up to level 44. If you run Xbox or PS4, you should be able to do a setting where it lets you, um, like, turn it on. And you can see all your coordinates. I forgot what it's called, but if you go in settings, it'll be in there. And you basically just want to go around like this. So place a temporary block, one on top, and then one above it and build up. And just do that up until layer 44. And you'll know you've done it at the right height if on layer 44 you've stopped. Like, now obviously this is going to take a while if you're in survival, but it's all worth it for that sweet, sweet experience. So make sure you do follow through. And no, I don't mean taking a shit. Ha ha ha, you're a joker. Whoever it is that was going to go in the comments and say ha, follow through. No, I didn't mean it like that, you silly goose. And as we place in this last block, I just want to say, subscribe. There we go. That's level 44, as you can see. And now from one side, it doesn't really matter which side, because you're going to have to do them all anyway. Just come out to this middle block here. You can obviously see which one's the middle. And build out 13, so 1, 2. And then do this on every side, so at all four. And there we go, you can see it looks like that. Okay, and now you're just going to connect all these, like, pillar things. So you're going to go out, obviously, and make it just, just a big square. And you can see we've already got a few Endermen starting to spawn. Like, and it's, uh, it's not even been, like, three seconds. Well, it's been three seconds. It's been, like, ten. So, so it's really quick, like, already, which is good. There's two in. Ooh, goody, goody. And yeah, if you do get the Enderman spawning in, like when you're here, you'll know you built it further, far enough away. Because otherwise, if you didn't, they just won't spawn. You can see I've already got four in. And that's the time it took for me to put like a few of these square things in. It should be like a 31 by 31 area, and you can see how many spawn in, it's mental. And now you're literally just gonna wanna fill in like all these blocks. So yeah, it's a long build, but like, it is definitely worth it, because you'll get a shit ton of XP and a whole lot of um, ender pearls. And obviously the XP is just so useful. And if you combine this with my other video that I'll have like a card at the end that you can go on as well, with the um, kelp farm, you can get so much XP in Minecraft. So if you do want to build both, then go ahead and watch that too. It, it might help you out a bit. This should work on all versions, by the way. So if you um, are confused if it will work on Xbox, it should do. I've never tested it on Xbox, but I'm pretty sure it will. I, I see no reason why it shouldn't. I, I know it's guaranteed to work in Java, because that's what I'm playing at the moment, so don't worry, if you're on Java, you'll definitely get it working. And if there's any reason why it has, like, broken or gone faulty or anything, and it hasn't, like, spawned in any Enderman, then the only fix will be just moving it away a bit. I know it's annoying, but that's why I said at the start, like, make sure you go a bit further out, 
like 1 140 or something just in case so you have that extra room because you'll have built up this whole platform and like done all of that work just for no enderman to spawn and you're there feeling disheartened and then you're gonna hate me aren't you and I don't want any hatred I, I'm just trying to do my best guys like please don't hate me also good luck to my boy Sacho I think he's changed his name to Sacho I know it was Sacho before but hopefully you do well in your exam bro I'm sure you will yeah you can see I've only filled in three and just look at how many endermen there are oh Lana Rose has had a field day with all these big black guys <laughs> And my mum is calling me, I assume my food is ready, so I'm going to have to end that right there, and I will pick it up in two secs, laddies. Now then, my laddies, we are back from my scran, and it, I must say it was delicious. I had a bit of chicken. I don't know why every time I'm recording, I, I had chicken, but I had chicken, and it was nice, and my sister made a cheesecake for pudding, which was exquisite, I must say. But I shall now carry on construction for you boys, and we should have this done very soon. As you can see, I didn't have my game running, but we've we've um, we've developed a bit of a problem. Look at how many fucking Endermen there are. But that's not a problem, is it? We don't see these as Endermen. We see these as XP. We see them as gains, monetary gains. I see them as money, 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 money. Call me Mr. Krabs, mainly because I've got crabs. No, I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> well, that's what you think. Right, and that's that's like the bulk of it done. You can see there we've got. It should look like this. And now you're just going to grab your trap doors. Any tree, you're going to need eight of them, so any colour doesn't matter. I'll just grab some spruce. And now come down, and we're going to place all eight trap doors in the middle hole. So the first three, we're going to have to place one, two, three, and then close them up. And then come around the side of over the side of this, and then come around the side and place one, two, three. And obviously close these bad bomb bushkas up too, and then one there, and then one there like that so you can see and this acts like the endermen think it's an actual block so they'll walk on it uh, and it'll be fine and it'll all be dandy and look oh he's just fell down like an absolute mug right now you're gonna need to build up three temporary blocks from the middle so put one there one there and then one and two okay now you're gonna grab an iron bar well not just one they've knocked me the little bastards yeah, that's what you get can't believe you've done this oh fuck I can't believe you've done this. Right, and now place your iron bar on top of that, like that. And now go back, grab your carpet, and place that on top of the bar. And then just bang in a couple of temporary blocks around the bar, uh, the bar kit, I was gonna say. The, the carpet, so like that. Okay, now we're gonna make like some little walls, kind of. So just like build it up a bit. I'll probably time lapse this bit, because it can get a bit confusing. These blocks are just temporary though, remember, so it's not, like, essential, don't worry. You still will need them though, obviously, so just make sure you still got them, but they're not essential. You just basically need to have an enclosed, like, space, because we have to get, like, a, a certain little donny in that's going to help us out tremendously, terrifically, so just make sure you got them all filled in, and there we go. Okay, now cover up the carpet for now, and then we're going to grab a rail, just a normal rail, not powered, so just rail, there we go. And place that there, so make sure it's next to your carpet like that. Oh yeah, and I'd recommend just like now filling in the rest of these blocks here. So then it makes it a bit easier for you. Okay, and now we're going to just grab ourselves some ender pearls, which obviously is going to be very easy. Since we've got all the endermen spawning, but we're just going to grab loads. And we're just going to start throwing them down until you get an endermite. If you don't know what that is, it's just a little purple fella. There he is, already. That was very quick. Okay, now first, this is the most important part. Well, not most important, obviously, but you're going to need to grab a name tag. Otherwise, he'll despawn, and you do not want that. Otherwise, it's just annoying. So, grab a name tag, and name the pesky little fucker. So, I'll just name him... Oh, um, okay. Let's just bang that there. We'll name him... Clip the Third. Obviously, the Clip the First. R.I.P., my guy. We miss you, bro. Every day grows harder. Flip the second is in the other world. He's a little robot, but you forget about him, kind of. And now grab yourself just a normal minecart. And you're basically just going to need to get Clit over here into the minecart. You can see he went in easy for me there because your boy's not in survival. He's in creative. So it will be a bit harder for you, but you should be able to get it eventually if you keep trying. Just keep pushing through. 
and make sure he's off the rails and like above the carpet like that. And now just remove the block here to make him fall onto the carpet like so. And then place the carpet on top of the minecart like that. And now he's concealed. He is away in his hole. He is never to be seen again. Ha, idiot. He should not have been trapped by me. So yeah, you didn't have to place this many blocks obviously, but you want to be safe. You don't, you don't want him escaping. So we had to double layer it. You never know. Clits are powerful things. He could have escaped, so he had to be double layered in, just in case, just in case. But obviously you don't have to. But yeah, you destroy that, because obviously all those blocks are temporary. And if you're smart about this, you, you wouldn't do your temporary blocks out of smooth stone. Because it just takes ages to smell them all, to be honest, it? So do it out of dirt or sand, or, well not sand, but do it out of dirt, do it out of dirt. And every block was a temporary block. And you can see that the endermen get really angry with the endermite. So they all rush towards him like that. As soon as they spawn him, they just, I, I don't know why they're hating. Like, what's poor Clit the second done? Uh, excuse me, man. What do you think I'm doing? I don't know what he's done, but they just seem to hate him. But yeah, they all run towards it, fall in the hole and stuff. They all drop down there, but they don't die. But yeah, they don't die when they get down to the, oh, I didn't mean to fall down there. They don't die when they get down to the bottom. They'll just get really, like, really weak. So you're able to hit them, obviously. But yeah, you can see in that very small amount of time, we've already got so many. And like, if you go over here and just wait, you'll see that like, so many start to fall. So if you if you want quick like farms, just stand here, they can't hit you because you're on leaves. Endermans don't spawn on leaves, if you didn't know that. So yeah, you, you'll see if you stand like, sort of adjacent here, loads are going to start to fall. So just stand about here, and, we w and then you just wait and do the AFK test. And if I get rid of all my inventory, and then if we just grab a anvil, maybe we can enchant a sword and put sweeping edge on it. And then obviously the sword. And sweeping edge three, there we go. You don't have to have sweeping edge, it just makes it a bit quicker. But now if we go into game mode, survival. Yeah, if we go into game mode survival and like run over, you'll see we'll, we won't get as many ex uh, levels now. But in that very small amount of time, they're unable to hit us, obviously. We can like run around the edge. All the hoppers should collect the end, uh, ender pearls. And if you want to, you can put like all the rails, fences, whatever you want around there. And that will just stop you falling off the edge if you're like pretty stupid like me. But you can see in this like small amount of time that it's just taken to build it, we've already gained 18 XP. And we're still like gaining loads. It's just it's just lagging. So you can see it's taken like, what, 30 seconds, if that. And we've already got this much, this many ender pearls, this many endermen. Paul Lana Rhodes is going to be watching this video in tears. She's like, my big black guys, no, don't, don't take them. But yeah, we're pretty much level 30 already. So it just gets you XP insanely quick. And obviously you're not going to come close to dying like I am. I've got no armor on. But with this method, you're going to get armor enchanted protection for everything so quickly so make sure if you haven't got this in your world make sure you do get it it's going to help you out a shit ton in your world so yeah hopefully you did make it to the end of the video and hopefully this video does help you out you can see it's starting to fill up our chest you can obviously go lower put more hoppers in and stuff like that we're still going up but yeah hopefully this video did help you out and if it did obviously subscribe is free and you can unsubscribe at any point if you really want but why would you want to? I don't know why you'd want to. But you can subscribe if you really would like. I wouldn't recommend it though, because it's obviously the greatest channel on YouTube. And still growing. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And peace.